Shalom everyone, this is Onia. So periodically on my YouTube channel, I've been appearing on someone else's YouTube channel, doing video teachings on his channel, and then it then goes on my channel as well. Um, and this channel that I've been having videos on is called Christopher Enoch. And so, like I said, for about the last year or so, I've I've had uh, I've done video teachings on his channel, and then I have also uploaded those videos to my channel. Now, for a while, I thought he was a good friend of mine, but as of recently, it appears that we are no longer friends. Um, so we've we've had a growing strain between each other due to disagreements over beliefs now the thing is i come from a perspective that everyone disagrees with my beliefs so unless i don't want to be friends with anyone then i have to be kind and loving to others even if they believe very different things than me and to be honest most people believe things that I find horribly objectionable to my values, to my core beliefs. But I understand that people are at a different place in their life and they don't see the things I see. They, they have different experiences. They may be ignorant about the truth. So, and that's okay. Um, I don't have to hate people or be mean-spirited to people who disagree strongly with my values. Unfortunately, that's not the case for these other people where... If you disagree with their values, they think you're stupid, they think you are evil, wicked, and, and basically not worth talking to. But these same people will fellowship and talk with people who are completely devoid of righteousness, um, or at least any godliness. So in the sense so uh, for example, Christopher Enoch has regularly fellowshiped online doing these uh discussions that he hosts with um with atheists for example which is fine you know like i said i i believe in being open and loving towards all people of different of different backgrounds and understanding of their uh differences but it's i believe it's wrong morally wrong to to entertain and be warm with an atheist who actively is against God and you are okay with that and yet uh, someone like me who is very sincere about my faith of the scriptures and I believe in Yeshua and believe in God and everything right he should be more open to being friendly with me, someone like me but instead he puts me in a harsher judgment than than these other people, and I think that's wrong to do that. Um, so basically, what has happened is there's a few disagreements we have, which basically for him, it's like deal breakers essentially. Um, it's gotten worse each time, and I think this is with the last straw. So basically, uh, periodically, I'm I watch his YouTube lives. He does a live every day, and. Uh, he was doing a live tonight, like he usually does at seven o'clock, and I was watching, and I was leaving comments, and he, and all of a sudden, um, near the end of his live, he banned me from commenting on his on his YouTube video, and I think I don't know for sure, but I think that ban probably applies to all videos on his channel so basically i can no longer comment on his videos so because of that you don't have to tell me twice when i when i see that to me that tells me he wants nothing more to do with me if you're going to ban me from making comments without even telling me he didn't even tell me a warning he didn't say hey kula or i'm going to ban you i don't want to ban you i like i like what you say but you're commenting too much please stop or i'm gonna to have to block you from the channel he didn't say anything like that he just completely cut me off without any anything so for for to for him to do that 
I feel like unless it was one of his moderators, um, maybe I'll send him an email just to make sure. Um, but uh, assuming that he was the one who did it, I'm pretty sure he was the one who did it. Um, for me, that's an indication he d he wants nothing more to do with me. And if that's the case, then I wash my hands of him. And the reality is, I don't consider him a fellow believer. He is not of the faith. He has shown himself to not be of the faith. So, um, tonight especially, he has reinforced the reality that he is not of the faith. So basically, um, tonight he was talking about how Yeshua is a sinner, or was a sinner. Um, no different than any of us, where he basically believes that Yeshua was just a normal man who sinned, had to repent of his sins, and uh, is not special really in any way. He believes he's the Messiah, whatever that's supposed to mean, um, but he believes that he struggles with sin just like us. And that is just completely missing the entire picture of the New Testament, completely misunderstands who Yeshua is, who the what the Messiah is. It's total ignorance and um, clearly indicates that he is not born again. A born again person does not believe these horribly wicked doctrines. Um, he actively opposes Yeshua in his beliefs. And he is self-deceived into thinking that he is righteous. He does not believe he needs the atonement of Yeshua. He thinks that obeying the law is all we need for salvation. And it's simply not true. Without Yeshua's atonement, we if we have sinned, we cannot be saved from our sins. That is a clear teaching of Scripture. And so he disagrees with that, me on that. Um, he has all these uh, ways of trying to support his idea that that. Yeshua is a sinner. And like I said, if he didn't block me from his channel, I'm okay with him believing whatever he wants to believe. And I can still talk with him and have some fellowship and dialogue with him. But the fact that he's cutting me off because I'm posting on comments on his channel are um, giving counter arguments shows, first of all, that he is not open to... Um, the other side of the argument. He's not open to counter evidence. Because if he was, he wouldn't just block people who have a different opinion. Um, he never answered my arguments. I made good arguments and he did not answer any of them. He, he was consistently ignoring everything I said. Um, so, so, like I said, I think this is the the end of it, where I don't think he wants anything more to do with me. And to be honest with you, I had respect for him for a while, but I've lost respect for him more and more as time has gone on because of the spirit that he has exhibited. Also, recently, a couple, couple of weeks ago, it was, he did a teaching on the Sabbath about how alcohol is a sin no matter what, and anyone who claims to be a Christian who drinks alcohol is evil and is not born again, essentially, is what he said. Um, and once again, you know, if that is his position, then that's fine. But he had so much hate and anger in his position where if you drink alcohol, he basically thinks you're evil and he despises you. And I think that is not a loving, that's not a way a loving person interacts with others. Um, so he spoke very coldly to people who disagreed with him about this topic and disrespect them to their face uh, on the on this topic. So um, so those are two of the main issues of an antagonism between me and him recently. Um, but he also, took major issue with me when I was teaching about 
uh, Bale and L, you know, the, the whole Canaanite thing that we find in the Bible, the distinction between L and Baal, and um, yeah, he and the idea that Yeshua is divine, he completely just rejects the idea that Yeshua is divine. So um, he is not a believer. He believes in God. He believes in the Torah, but he does not believe in Yeshua. He believes Yeshua was a prophet, the Messiah, just like Muslims, but does not believe he is the savior of, from our sins. And for that reason, he loses all my respect because he is not one of us. He is not a fellow believer. And he he prides himself on being a seeker of truth, but he's not a true seeker of truth because he has already come to his conclusions and he doesn't care about the evidence at all. Whatever he wants to believe, that's the truth. And no one can convince him otherwise. He's basically said about the issue of alcohol that nothing could convince him that alcohol is acceptable. Even if the Bible was to say it's acceptable, even if God was to say it's acceptable, he would not change his mind on this subject. Um, so there is really no point in discussing these issues with him because he's not open to the truth. And the way he's treating people who disagree with him is very cruel. And I, I have noticed also in his, uh, he's done a few videos about people who believe in the flat earth. And he's had them on. And then when he has his guests on to talk about the flat earth, he lets other guests be very harsh with the people who believe in the flat earth and insult them, disrespect them. And it's not fair to those people. I disagree with the flat earth. I think it's, I think it's silly. But I will never talk to someone who believes in the flat earth and say to and disparage their intelligence, say they're dumb or an idiot or whatever. They're sincere in their belief, and they have reasons for what they believe. I think they're wrong, but I'm not going to treat them as if they are so evil or so stupid that they are destroying the faith. Christopher Enoch actually thinks that the flat earth, believing in the flat earth, completely undermines the faith and loses all credibility, but he loses all credibility when he rejects who Yeshua is. And so there's some good stuff that Christopher Enoch teaches about righteousness, Torah, obedience. But unfortunately, all these other things he teaches makes him a evil person and a false teacher that we should avoid, unfortunately. So um, hopefully he will change his mind and have me come on again on his channel at some point, And maybe we could have some open dialogue but until that happens i think i think it's better that this happened because he's not who i thought he was he's not who he says he is he is not a fellow seeker of the truth he is not a fellow brother of the faith he's not a follower of yeshua he's a follower of his own ways so i know this uh video isn't necessarily the best thing to make in terms of I don't want to make it a, a, a habit of making videos about specific people criticizing them but I felt I should address this because I have been doing videos on his channel and I wanted to explain why I no longer will be and that's because of his choice to ban me from his channel and I and I gave the reasons why it's because of his evil uh, beliefs that he is banning me from his channel. So, um, and I know there, there's a few people that follow me who used to be um, subs subscribed to Christopher Enoch, and then they had a falling out with Christopher Enoch on uh, on certain issues. So, um, like one John, I know. Uh, so I thank you guys for being subscribed to me, and however we met be it through Christopher Enoch or through other ways. I hope you do get value from what I have to share. I promise you, though, you can believe whatever you want. I may not agree with you, but I will respect you as long as you respect me. And I will be happy to have anyone on who is subscribed 
or not subscribe, but anyone who wants to come on and discuss with me, we could we could debate. If you wanted to share something and we could discuss about it, I'd be happy to have you on as a guest at some point. Just let me know. You can send me an email. You can comment on this video saying that you're interested to be hosted sometime. I would be happy to have you on. Um, but yeah, so um, it's it's disappointing to me because I actually thought Christopher Enoch was a friend of mine. And in the past, you know, I've lost a lot of friends who supposedly were these good believers and then they just forsake you. How can a loving person who's a believer forsake another believer over disagreements of doctrine? It's it's not right. It's not loving. In my experience of life, I've only had a few people stand by me over the years. Very few people. Eventually, Ooh. most people, most people stop associating with me for whatever reason. And mainly it's because they disagree over a doctrine. And I think it's one of the dumbest things in the world. How are you going to stop talking to someone or stop loving someone because they have a sincere difference of belief? It's one thing if you're in Israel and, you know, it says certain beliefs, you have to put those people to death if they are teaching those things, like teaching to worship other gods and things like that. We have to put those people to death. But that's under the law when you have a government, a, a theocracy. When you're in a pluralistic society, you should be loving to people regardless of what they believe. And as Yeshua said, love your enemies. I don't see loving of enemies when when the people cut you off. They're not loving you when you then you then when they do that. So yeah, um I I love all you guys. Uh I hope you will get some value from my channel. Um the main value I want you guys to have is my work on the scriptures that I will be uh I'm making great progress on. So um I'll be I will be sharing my translations here on my channel, and I'll also be sharing the links to the PDFs when they become available. So stay tuned for that. I welcome diversity in my beliefs and ideas. You can challenge me and criticize me all you want. Just please do it respectfully, and that's okay. Um, I, I, like I said, I, I, my main priority for this channel is my version of the Bible that I am working on. So you can be skeptical of what I believe and doubt what I believe, but I ask you, when the time comes, when my version is released, and I'm going to be releasing each book by, like, when, the, when one book is finished, I'm going to release that book. When the next book is finished, I'll release that book. So I, I urge you to read the books of the scriptures that I work on and release. Read them for yourself and see what the evidence has to say. Just look at what I have to say in that version that I produce. And then I leave it to you to believe what you want to believe. But I'm going to provide all the evidence that I find in my version of the Bible in commentary, footnotes, showing the different variants. And then I leave it to you guys what you believe, how you take the evidence that I found. Do you disagree with the evidence or whatever? You can evaluate it on your own. But I'm I'm gathering the information all for you. And that's the value of my version of the Bible that I'm working on. So I believe more than anything that that is my life goal. And so uh, this is going to bless a lot of people. And it's going to be very meaningful to everyone on this channel. If you just give it a chance, you're going to find value in it no matter what you believe. You're going to find value in my work. Because my work will take the variance from all the manuscripts of the Bible that exist. That is valuable for everyone. It doesn't matter what doctrine you believe. The doctrine we believe doesn't change the fact of a, of a variant existing. So the variants existing exist by themselves with regardless of doctrine. I'm here to show you guys all these variants and line them up for you in a way that makes it so much easier for you guys to know what, what the scriptures say in the different copies of the Bible. And so that alone is extremely valuable for you guys. You could think everything else I'm teaching is stupid. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But just have faith 
and patience in what I'm doing, the work I'm doing, because it's going to really amaze you guys what I have found and all the connections, all the evidence we have, whether you agree with the conclusions or not, is another matter, but just the amazing differences we see between copies of the Bible, that alone is worth it, worth the wait, and worth subscribing to my channel to uh, to see the differences in the manuscripts. So, with that said, hope you guys have a good rest of your week. Shalom. Thank you for following, and I will try to do more videos soon. Um, I will let you guys know that I recently took every Monday off for the next eight months for my job. And I have the weekends off as well. So three-day weekend every week for eight months, all the way to mid-April. That's going to just give me a huge rest. I can relax finally again and refocus because I've been working so much at my job and never having any free time. And I was working like just nonstop. But now that I'm having a three day weekend, it's going to feel so much easier. And I'm going to be able to refocus my mind onto this project of the Bible. It's going to help me refocus, replan my goals, and then move forward. So uh, stay tuned. And I will try to do, hopefully soon, I'll try to start doing at least one video a week. So I'm not sure when I'm going to start that, but hopefully soon I'll start doing one video a week. So right, God bless you guys. Uh, see you soon. Shalom.